time to eat. Two left hands. Full right, I guess. I've been trying to get this thing put together and working for quite some time now. Years. I mean, I had it mostly put together in Idaho. Last one. And then I'll show you what I've got going on here. As I was saying, it's been a long time coming getting this thing put together. Shortly before we left Idaho, I wanted to put this planer on this stand. The stand was originally a stand that was, uh, it came with the radial arm saw that I used to have that broke and I got rid of when we moved. I've been trying to, <coughs> even before the planer, put these wheels on so that you can, with these levers, move it around because it was a beast to try and move you know and when you're not using it it's just taking up space in the shop the garage wherever finally got those installed out here but oh, i think i got the wrong type of wheels for the job i might have to revisit this I'm glad I got them installed finally. Sad that they don't work. I was hoping I could use it to move it around because I don't use the planer all that often. I can shove it in a corner and then roll it out when I need to. What a great idea. All of this leads up to the next project I'm working on. Let me show you. Today at a local, um, I guess you'd call it a sawmill. It was sawn two years ago, so it's been drying, it's dried, it's ready to be used. I wanted to take a tree from our property and have it sawn and, and used, be able to use it to make a table. I'm gonna make a dining room table out of this, but just don't have time. I, uh, the goal is to get one made in time for Thanksgiving and that gives me just a few weeks to get this table put together, so. I'm really excited though. I think this is gorgeous. Uh, if you know what type of wood it is, we'll leave it in the comments below. I'm not gonna say what kind it is, but it's beautiful. So yeah, I've obviously got a lot of work to do. I've gotta cut it down into usable lumber, get rid of the edges here, plane it down. But yeah, we're gonna try and make ourselves a dining room table. So that's why I was working on getting the planer set up. A little bit disappointed that didn't work out the way I had hoped. But at least it's on a stand now. I'll secure it down. I still gotta secure it down. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to secure it. We'll figure that out. So I gotta admit, I was a little bit intimidated to to go buy this, to go to this mill and ask for this wood. I don't know why I was. I was planning to just go get it from a local box store and I had priced it all out. It was gonna cost me uh, almost seven times what I paid to get it from this local sawmill. 
now I would have got wood that was ready to go that I could have with very little work started assembling things this is gonna take a lot of work but man paying six seven times more just for that uh, I mean I can understand when it might be worth it but I'm sure glad that I faced that demon forced myself to go interact with this guy and see what he had get his opinion first of all on the type of wood is this okay for a table and all that jazz and then get some helpful tips and build a relationship there one that I hope and foresee being useful in the future and we'll continue on so pretty excited about it very excited about it so because these legs are out on an angle and these feet I just don't think they were meant for that and maybe it's that the wheels are too fat so they don't allow them to turn very easily Yeah, so I don't know. I guess it's not perfect, but it's gonna work. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. I think I'll take them out, straighten them for one. Let's get this bad boy secured. That thing is heavy, by the way. I swear it weighs 400 pounds. This is what I'm thinking I'm doing. We've got this leftover lumber from the beds. I may not have enough of it. I think I have some more pieces that length. Actually, you know what? I don't. I don't, but I do have... I have been collecting, very recently collecting... Uh, pallets and breaking those down. I've got some pallet wood that I think what I'm gonna do is put a layer of wood secured to this base and then this secured to the wood since the mounting holes don't line up with the holes that are available underneath this base. So I've put a bunch of good stuff up there. I've got a bunch down here and I think this is what I'm gonna use. It's all about an inch thick, maybe three quarters some of it there's not all of it so most of it's three quarter there's some one inch stuff i'm gonna grab that of course since i put the tractor on top of it this means i also get to start up the tractor and starting up the tractor is never a bad thing It's ridiculous, but I'm gonna freaking drive the tractor with a few pieces of lumber in the bucket over to the shop rather than carry it myself. Still quite enjoying that new rabbit tractor. I mean, it just looks cooler compared to the the first one. Rabbit tractor 1.0, rabbit tractor 2.0. Now we got 
gotta take this thing off. Oh, the backbreaker. Lift with your legs, not your back. Some of these planks look like they're made from oak. Or some kind of hardwood. wood. As long as they're long enough to fit across. Which they all are except this poor soul. This way. Yeah, I like that better. Hey, look at that guy. He fits perfectly. We'll cut them all to that length. Some of these are pretty messed up. This one's got a nail in here. We'll cut that end off. I tried to take all the nails off that I could, but some of them. I don't know what happened to that one. I don't know if it was bent before I got to it or whatever, I didn't notice that, but that's okay. That doesn't smell like pine. Don't know what it is, but... One, two, three, four. Look at that. I barely even had to think about that and it just worked out. Huh. What's up, bud? How far are you on the table? Haven't even started. Oh, those are cool pieces of wood. Yeah. I think they're gonna look awesome. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of work to do to cut them down and get them straight and to cut them into straight boards that we can then glue together. I'm just trying to make this stand for the planer to sit on. That's what I'm doing right now. He's a good boy. All right, so look at that. <laughs> it worked out just fine. Now I just need to attach those to that base. All right, so I've got all these bottom ones secured from underneath. So those are secure, and then I found these timber screws from the bunk beds that are just the right length to go from here through and grab most of this material. And that'll be enough to hold it in place for moving around. You know, it weighs so much anyway. That'll get the job done. And uh, I'll have a planer, a mobile planer, semi-mobile. <laughs> and then once I Get started on this table, it'll be nice to have that to be able to use to get the, the boards I need for that table. So like I said earlier, I'm super intimidated by this project. But it's gonna stretch me in a good way and I'm gonna learn new things and I'm excited for that. So, we'll see how it turns out. One way or the other, I'm gonna have a table and if, you know, a lot of people have said, hey, mill some trees from your property and use those to build a table, which I like that idea. Just didn't have the time right now. So, you know, maybe I'll learn a lot of things and yeah, I'm probably gonna screw up on this. But at the end of the day, I'll have a table and when I'm ready to mill a tree off of my own property, I'll have some experience and I'll be able to do it better. Looking forward to that. Well, it was fun to get it all over here, but I also have to get it up and take the tractor back. Expect love for you.